Okay, first off, we have Scratch right now. Scratch, again, is a program that allows students to create animations and video games by simple drag-and-drop code stuff. Now what you can do is have different sprites, like these two stickmen that a student of mine made here. And then with each pose that he is changing, that is a different costume. And here we have a different costume. Yeah, it gets pretty gory. They're fighting. What do you expect? They're middle schoolers. So you have a little fighting scene of punching a head off and... Yeah, he's going to need his brain later. And when you get done, what I have here are all links to get to my library web page. So this is my Scratch site that I have with tutorials. So if a student wants to go back and find out something about history of animation video games, they can read the tutorial video that I have up on here, which I have embedded through Google Docs. If anyone has not heard of or used Google Docs yet, it is awesome. You can upload all your PowerPoints, and it creates like a little uh, template that can be embedded into your videos and your web pages, and that way you can show it off later. And here I have all my PDF files. Again, if a student comes in late, or if they want to go a little bit further ahead, or if they want to download this program from home and work at their own pace, I have all these tutorial files. Again, Scratch is a teacher supportive site. So there have been a plenty of other teachers who have put tutorials and rubrics and other lessons up. Here we have a video of one of my students that he made. Uh, we took three pictures of him. We took one from the front, a side view, and another view. Uh, the cool thing about this is that everyone around the world now can view the student's video. And if they would like to download the actual code that he used to create this, they can do so. Basically, it's just a way that the students now again have that large audience. They can take this home, they can they can embed it into their web page. Uh, we can go to embed and you know, let's say they can put an applet version of their movie just like you had on my site with the two little stickmen. And here we have the actual scratch program. Uh, like I said before, I was able to download my student's game or animation that he made off his website. And now I have access to the sprite that he has designed, which would be here, and the command codes that he has made up. This is a lot of fun because students can continue to build up on someone else's work. They can learn to see how someone else completed how they did it and uh, it's just another fun way to share. Uh, the main things about Scratch, this part right here is basically your stage. When you hit the green flag, it will have the actual animation start up for you. Uh, if for there's any math people out there, you're going to see that the X and Y coordinate changes as I move my mouse around. That's because there's almost like this indiv indivisible little grid that goes over the whole thing. Your sprite is anything that you're going to animate and we have back in here, the middle, these are going to be all of your scripts. The script is what makes the person move or animate or dance, or whatever. So when I click on this block of text, it says when clicked, it's forever going to change to the next costume every 4 seconds. And your costumes are the next picture of the person. So then if we click on it, just that one, it will just do that work. Notice that the sound does not work now. And if I want to stop, I hit stop. And you can also add just about any other code in here if you like, too. I'm trying to think of these as Lego blocks. And as you slide them into one another, they're going to drag and drop onto one another. And let's see what would happen if I click on that now. Notice that he's rotating 15 degrees every one second. And if you don't like it, you can unsnap them. You can drag chunks over here, or I can just put them back over it again. And see what happens also if you put one on top of the other. So then a scratch in a nutshell. Animation, computer code, by drag and drop commands.